Okay, so first step is getting the T-nuts out of your kit. So they come with M8 and M6. In the kit are the actual T-nuts themselves and these 20 mil long stainless steel M3 bolts. These bolts are designed to thread into the T-nut and it allows you to lock the T-nut in the track of the board so that every time you go to put your kit on, the bolts always line up. Makes life so much easier, I highly recommend you use them. So to, to do that, I've put the bolts in here and I'm going to put them in the tracks. If the T-nut's not moving, you might have screwed this screw too far down and I want to get my mast to give me the spacing, the necessary spacing for the mast and the T-nuts on my board. So the way I'm going to do that, I simply come over, put the mast next to the T-nuts and try and roughly line them up to the spacing and the position that I want to run this on the board. And then I put the mast on top of the board. I just want to make sure that I can see the holes and I'm just poking the tool into the track. Now I've done that. Now the next step is you want to lock the T-nuts in place. So I actually get a bolt, an eight mil bolt, and I push it into the T-nut so it doesn't move. And then I get this tool and I just lock it in place. These 20 mil M3 screws, you don't need to do them up super tight. They just sort of nip up a little bit. Okay, so the next step, you, not everyone needs to do this, but if you do have a real full carbon fiber board, sometimes you need to use the included high density foam blocks and you just want to stuff them into the voids between your T-nuts. And this just helps with the signal propagation through the board and gives you a better link. The more foam you can stuff in, the better the reception will be. And if you come in, you can see that there's still little gaps in the front here. I could take another piece of foam, cut it in half and stuff that in there. You won't necessarily need to do this on all boards. It's really for the high carbon fiber full wrap boards. It just gives that little bit of extra performance. So now I'm gonna get the main housing. And because I've used those super handy T-nuts, everything's gonna line up. And now I'm gonna get my mast, put it on top of the unit. I get my four bolts. These are M8, 80 mil long for the max. And I wanna put them in. And with just my fingers, I should be able to feel the bolt line up perfectly with that thread just like a glove, perfect. Trying to do this without T-nuts is really annoying because the T-nuts will move and you end up wasting all this time. Provided in the kit, T40 driver, I want to just loosely nip up those bolts. The reason I didn't talk these up, I just got them in loosely, is I want to make sure I can see the plug for where the motor goes into has got enough space to fit. And this is another reason why I ran the code today, it has quite a big base. If you look down here, you can see if I was to try and plug the motor cable in, the base is in the way. That's why there's slots in the main unit. So if I was to push the unit back and bring the mast further forward, now I've got sufficient space to plug the motor cable in.